Hello everyone, welcome as always to my channel. Um, I wasn't really sure if I was going to post anything this week because I'm still recovering from my tendonitis. Um, but I decided to use this um, video, this footage from about two weeks ago when my wrist wasn't as bad yet. I was wearing a bandage with um, a cool pack <laughs> on my wrist as you can see, but I probably should not have been drawing at that point and it got worse and so I had to take a complete break. But um, during this illustration uh, quite a few things went wrong and that's why I wasn't sure if I was going to post it at all. But since I don't really have new footage, I am going to do that anyway and show you my mistakes so you don't have to make them. So I'm doing a bit of um, illustrative witchy um, illustration as you would see maybe in a children's book with a witchy theme going on as you can see and I use brown for an outline and used gum arabic here to make leave some things um, white because I was planning on using a very dark background to make it even more spooky and as you can see I'm using the gum arabic on the background now to give it a little bit of structure with those fine lines and that did not go well so um, now I'm mixing my dark purple for the background and as I am putting that wash on I'm already seeing that my little lines for the background the texture um, was disappearing and it wasn't looking the way I wanted it like it melted a little bit too much even when I tried not to use as much water but this being a smooth paper um, a hot press paper that didn't work as I as I had planned and now I ended up taking off the entire background again and starting over which was a bit of a bummer because um, I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to save this but I tried anyway and I decided to just fill in my main um, characters here and see if I can make the background a bit more interesting by adding um, more dots of colors in there and they're not looking quite the way they should at this point but since I will be using colored pencils later anyway I might be able to bring those colors out a bit more and the idea behind those yellow brownish greenish spots was to make it look like some kind of a poisonous fog <laughs> or some witchy poisonous gases in the air um, and because everything was so dark and a lot of my illustrations like the cat and the raven and the cauldron are very dark I gave everything um, some ink outlines just to make them pop a little bit more which does kind of break the way I usually work but it's nice to try out some new things maybe for a different style and this might come in handy sometime later um, now I'm touching everything up with my colored pencil and talking on the phone at the same time. That's kind of a fun thing to do while you're talking on the phone because you're just like meditatively, um, intuitively working on stuff, not really having to concentrate a lot. So it's like doodling while you're talking to someone. Um, good multitasking. Um, but I think what made the most difference is not just refining the figures themselves, but also refining the background in, like I said, bringing out those greens and yellows and everything a bit more. So what I learned here was that the next time um, I want to give a dark background more texture, I will not be using gum arabic. I will be using something that's not um, water soluble, like regular masking fluid, um, or some other tricks that I will be talking about later. But yeah, I um, this this led me to making something that I probably would not have made usually. So it forced me to work in a different way, and I have to see the positive side of that, even if it means just realizing that 
okay, I do not like this look and next time I will be doing it completely different, differently instead. This is going to be a very short video because I don't really have that much to say um, about this one. I'm not sure if my feet frequency of one video per week will be held up in the next weeks because like I said I have to give my wrist a little bit of a break and I also have to focus on some other things but we'll see about that and I think that every two weeks might be a good frequency for me um, since this channel hasn't grown that much anyway I don't think that'll be very bad <laughs> for everyone involved um, I'm now touching up the background, giving it the texture with my colored pencil, and that will be it. I will be seeing you soon, if not next Friday, then the week after that, and I look forward to speaking to you again. Bye!